welcome back to map it this is make it plain with tracy remember we're dissecting life's concepts principles ideologies and we're trying to simplify it so welcome once again and in the month of october we started off with a topic called freedom redefined and it's been interesting we've been getting lots of feedback comments you know on their ideas about freedom you know so we talk about freedom a lot of things come to your mind and you wonder why freedom so while we celebrated or we celebrate with nigeria on her independence you know it was quite apt for us to you know use the opportunity to reflect look at ourselves our lives and really ask ourselves if we even as nigerians are free you know so it's food for thought but then to narrow it down and that's why we say we are redefining it redefining freedom in the context of success in the context of achieving your goals your dreams and your desires so welcome once again to freedom redefined as we begin to wind down in the month of october um we want to really clear the air all right so don't go away so last week we talked about procrastination and we said very simply procrastination is the thief of time the thief of freedom something you can do now why delay why postpone okay so that was for last week you can go look it up on youtube just last week we posted um, a very interesting conversation about procrastination but so today we want to talk about self-knowledge okay self-knowledge and self-knowledge takes it to self-mastery how much of you do you know do you understand yourself your moods your switches your excitement your turn-offs have you really had a grasp of your own personality it's really important because it does affect many things you do if not everything you do your attitude and all of that is important to understand yourself okay so um we'll take an example of um you noting down your inhibitions and your triggers when you know yourself you some people say i'm not a morning person i would say oh i'm a night so you need to be able to begin to define states or explain the things that work for you and the things that don't work for you when you know them that's your beginning your your that's your introduction to freedom because now you know the way the bible says the truth you know will set you free so when you know the truth about yourself oh i easily get upset oh i easily lose interest in stuff oh i easily so whatever it is you note them and then you begin to now make plans intentional plans to mitigate just like risk you see a risk you identify a risk you do something to mitigate it and then you feel safe so when you know what those issues are what these excitements could be triggers could be inhibitors could be then you now make intentional plans around how to curb them that is the best definition of freedom because once you have a grab or a grasp of all of that then you can now begin to live your life intentionally deliberately day by day one step after the other towards your goal towards your dreams so congratulations because i believe that at the end of october you will be flying flying and enjoying freedom like a bird a bird's really really free <laughs> that's by the way and really a food for talk yeah so i would encourage you to please be intentional about your freedom be intentional about your future okay so i'd like to wrap up by reading the preface of my book remember i wrote a book in 2021 it's titled breaking the bricks and shackles of limitations and the big question is why can i why can you so the preface says get uncomfortable with where you are and take intentional steps to push yourself to where you want to be so in the pages of the book why can't i we shall be journeying through a process of honest assessment limitations definition self-recovery and a commitment to getting back on track breaking the brakes and shackles of limitations to be all you can be 
Tracy Dapper. It's very important. If you want to copy, just find a way to reach me on Facebook, Instagram, um, WhatsApp. Just reach out. The, the, the um, address is there. The contact is there. My handle. Just reach out and I'll ensure that you get a copy of the book. The book talks about interesting stuff, things that can typically limit you. Procrastination, lack of focus, attempt to fathom fear. Um, okay, let me just read it to us, the, the contents. Give me a minute. Okay, right here. So it says, The Plague of Procrastination. Chapter 2, The Attempt to Fathom Fear. Chapter 3, The Epilepsy of Low Self-Esteem. Chapter 4, The Power of Determination. Chapter 5, The Work of Your Hands. Chapter 6, The Beauty of Focus. Chapter 7, The Strength of Networks. Chapter 8, The New Start. And Chapter 9, Finishing Strong. Finishing Strong talks about your resolve and your victory. I recommend this for you, not because it was written by Tracy, but because it's really important for you to have this. So stay so stay tuned and don't go away. Be the best you can be. See you next week for the wrap edition. All right. So thanks for listening. Thanks for staying this far. And I encourage you to be your best. Keep being your best. Keep striving. Keep pushing and keep being the best you can be. Until next week, stay tuned. Don't go away. I love you.